Okay, everyone, uh, welcome back to a rather messy workbench here. Let me straighten this camera up a little bit. Let me bring her out. We got a new little arm thing for my uh, camera. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Um, that move more than I thought. Let's get that straight. Okay. Um, this is. Uh, we left off last time. This uh, was more or less ready to go. And I've got the SD card done. And then this guy here is the, um, this is the uh, power supply with the regulator and the charging circuit. This is the uh, joystick, the USB. Okay. Um, I did end up getting all the holes drilled this is going to be the usb this is the hdmi out this is the uh, five volt in this is the switch so switch is going to sit here um i've already tested the fit of everything the reason i'm not finishing it tonight is i got some um vinyl applique for it and the reason i do that is you can never get these rectangular holes perfect. And what you do is you put a wrap over it. On previous ones, I actually used this um, walnut here, but this didn't seem appropriate with this type of case. So I went with a slightly darker gray, kind of give it a, a, an N64, uh, sorry, a Super Nintendo kind of look to it. So that'll give it a, a nice finish. So when you do that, you cut the holes out for it and you fold it in, it gives you a nice straight edge and hides any imperfections in the uh, plastic work you did. So this is all gonna be wired up tomorrow. Once I get the, I'll get the, uh, the vinyl down for it. This goes this way. Everything fits in there pretty darn well. Make sure nothing touches. Oops, see nothing. Nothing touches. I try to balance it out pretty well, so there's. That's why I put the, the battery on center line there, so the forward back weight isn't too bad. Um, and this joystick is actually surprisingly heavy because there's a steel rod that goes through it. So it's going to be relatively easy to do the final assembly work. Is I can plug in the joystick, I can plug in all the USBs and everything, and then just just drop it straight down just like that so uh, tomorrow once I get the, the applique in uh, the vinyl in I will f uh, wrap cut a piece wrap it cut holes for all this fold it in and then mount all the components after the wraps on there and then you cut a, you this well you you put the applique on then you score the line and then you can pop it open you don't even see where you score the line and it actually works out really nicely. I've done it on a couple of systems now. And the wrap seems to really, it gives it a nice finished look and any kind of imperfections disappear, which I like. So, I mean, if I really want to, I can even go ahead, let's say on this front panel here, um, uh, do like an inset of that gray as well and give it a real, like a Super Nintendo controller look. And the look I'm going for is kind of like this. probably really loud because I touched my microphone. Sorry about that. Um, so I want to go for kind of this, the whole look I was going for is kind of the Super Nintendo look here with the blue, pull this arm out here a little more. Going with that, uh, that blue gray, the blue against the gray and the, the vinyl I got is similar to this color and that'll wrap around the sides and then I might do a wrap on the top I haven't decided yet so that would be an interesting one so it's gonna look nice it's gonna have the everything fits real nice the power switch locks in the place over here it's gonna be a nice power switch there four port USB hub, HDMI, power in. So, um, 
as long as Amazon doesn't fail me now, tomorrow I will have um, this going. This is to, um, the wiring itself is not going to take very long at all. It's going to take... Oh, I'll do some of it tonight and like five minutes tomorrow. So I'll probably do that uh, live video for that one. But yeah, it's really getting there, you can see. It's actually a fairly comfortable layout. This is the modified American layout. American layout's usually straight. This one, the AB is slightly offset. So I did it so it's gonna be AB and then my thumb, my thumb is gonna be able to hit the buttons down here. Start select, L1, R1, then L2, R2 down here. So I can actually hit the L buttons. Most games only need four buttons anyway, so. And then I got the other six over here, the other two down here if I need to use all six, but I can easily uh, use my thumb to hit those. And, uh, yeah, so it's almost there. These are neat joysticks. This is a uh, Japanese style with a round top, but I think it looked best with this, this kind of gumball look here, uh, better than the... Uh, the more American teardrop shape. I like the American style too. I'm thinking of making like a dedicated uh, Pac-Man controller with the four-way gate turned on so you can't do diagonals. This guy you can do diagonals but it's actually really easy on these joysticks if you want to. Um, you kind of pop up this gate and you just turn it 90 degrees and lock it back down and it turns the 90 degree gate on. So these long air axes here or here so when you try to go in the corner you can't well, actually this one i don't see a restrictor plate on this one but other ones there is actually a restrictor plate so you can switch it to four i don't think you can on this one but yeah so this is going to be my little new little portable retro system soon so when covid ever ends I'll be able to go to my brother's house and this will be nice and portable and these are wireless controllers here and this little USB uh, port, we'll just have the little USB receiver for it. And uh, I'll be able to play, one person will be able to play on this. And then the other players can play on these little wireless ones, which will make it nice and clean, actually. Um, so that should be a neat system. So everyone, thanks for watching, and have a great night.